Hey guys, welcome back to the shop and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to continue the CNC build. And in this episode, I'm going to show you a mini tutorial about fretting an egg. Let's roll the intro and we can begin. Hey guys, before I go into the details, I want to apologize for my lack of content for the past month almost. It's just that I was somehow busy with work and projects and I started refurbishing the house and that took me quite a lot of effort. But now I'm almost finished and that's why I started again with this content so thank you for your patience so here i have the neck and it's and the fretboard is sending down to 400 grit so the first step that i want to share with you is to raise the grain of your fretboard if like me you like to use for example wood glue to install the frets I simply just used wood glue as an extra insurance for installing the frets and I raised the grain before just because when you're wiping excess glue with a damp cloth you have the risk of raising the grain and after with all the frets installed it's very difficult to send down the fretboard so what I do is to raise the grain a couple of times with a damp cloth and then go over again with the 400 grit some paper. The next tip, and maybe all of you will know that, is to chamfer the edges of the slots. This is because when you have to do a refret on this particular fretboard, you minimize uh, chip breakout when you're removing the frets. And this is done easily with a triangular file and you just go over each fret a couple of times like so i'm not going over it because i already did it and after that you go again with the 400 grip and a nice clean the second tip before you start installing the fret is to check the depth of your fret slots. And this is done easily by taking a piece of fret wire you're going to use and put it side of the fret port and check the depth along the tank. And I'm good. Next, obviously, is installing the frets. Now, if you've seen my last video, I did a little, uh, this was a little talk, a little discussion regarding my thoughts about, system, about how to install frets. And the best one that I found for me, and I believe for most of you, is using a fret press. An arbor press, which I convert into a fret press. Now, put this to a side and let's prepare the press here. Okay, so basically, the steps are glue, wipe, put the fret, put the fret tap it in place, just a small tap, and then on the press and install. I'm going to show you just a couple of them and then I'm not going to show you all of them. I use the nozzle, I press the nozzle hard on the slot so when I squeeze the glue it goes inside the slot. 
I take the fret tap it in place and then into the press and press hard you don't have to press extremely hard I just have to wait, try to get hold on and this lot is nice and stop. You don't have to press a lot because some fret wire tend to deform a bit when you press hard with the press. So now I just fast forward all the frets and I talk to you at the end. And that's it. As you can see, it took me a 10 minutes to install them all. After that, I like to have a look each of them, make sure they are properly seated. And if needed, I go over again with the press. It's not a bad idea to just go over all of them just in case and 
And after that, I like to let the glue set for some hours and then start to trim off the ends and chamfering the ends. Okay guys, now that the glue is set, it's time to trim off the ends. And I like to use just a normal side cutter and then smooth out with some files. And it's important that when you file, you file in this direction towards the neck rather than towards the fret rather than towards the fretboard or else you have the risk of pulling out a fret yes I know there is the glue but still I avoid, I avoid that risk and it's better if the neck is clamped somewhere I'm covering the cutter because I don't want pieces of this wire flying around. I would like to take this opportunity of inviting you to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and hit that notification button for future releases. I leave almost just a bit, tiny bit of metal, and then I'll continue with this, which is with a smoother file rather than doing everything with a coarse file. At this point I'm not worried if I touch the wood with the file because it still needs final sanding before starting the actual finish. And what I like to do as well is to roll a bit the file so I know I'm taking everything out from the fret. And continue all along the fretboard and on the other side. Now, I'm going to cut off the camera. I'm going to finish the step. You don't need to watch me file all of the frets. And then we're going live back for the next step, which is chamfering the ends of the fret. Okay, guys, with the fret ends cut, now it's time to bevel the ends. Now, you can do this with a file at an angle working down fret by fret. Or else, there, will, there is an easy way is using a beveling block. Now, you can buy this at various luthiers suppliers, or you can do one your own. This is very simple to do, just a normal block slot in the middle so the file has a place and a 45 degrees cut at one end now what i do first of all i like to clamp the neck so it doesn't move that much and then with the block i rest the beveled edge along the fret and I slide it so I cut the ends. Now 
No rush, go slowly. It's better. It's better to go slow, take your time, instead of rushing out, maybe slip and cut a groove along all the threads. I'm talking by experience. And that's why I'm holding the block with two hands, so I have full control of the tool. So I'm checking the, the edge of the fretboard, because when I have a small chamfer on the edge of the fretboard, I know that I'm at the right point. And I don't need to go any, for, any further. The end part of the fretboard is the part that will take more work, because for the amount of area of the fretboard, there is too much material to remove rather than this area. That's why I like to finish up the upper part and then tackle the end part by its own. Always checking your work. Always. Before it's too late. And that's it. Well, I did the other side of camera. And that's my fretting process. From preparing the fretboard to installing, to, to finishing up the frets. Next step will be the final sanding of the snack. I'll finish up until 400 grit and then start the finishing process. I'm going for a true oil finish on the snack, but I'm going for a satin feel. Regarding the body, I still need to wire up everything. And that will be for another video. So guys, for today that's it. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it and learn something from it. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for future releases. Check out my other uh, episodes and other videos and I see you next time. Take care and bye bye.